All right, we're back at the monitor now. I'm going to reinstall the board. First thing, of course, we need to do is plug in that signal cable. It just snaps back into place. Then we can install the monitor or the power supply board back in. Just slides it back into place. We'll put our screws back in. You do want to make sure, even before you, if you're just testing it, you still want to make sure that you have all the screws back in because the board uses some of the um, screw mounts to ground itself back to the metal frame of the chassis um, to provide return paths for the, the power. And if you don't have them all installed, uh, the board is not properly grounded and could cause an electrical uh, shock hazard for you. So you do want to make sure that you put all the, the screws back in, like I say, before you test it out. All right, we've got our four screws back in. Now we'll just rotate this back around. Lift up the one end and plug your backlights back into the little connectors. Now on the backlight plugs, there is a uh, white and black and a pink and black. It does not matter which one goes into which of the two connectors. Um, they all, all put out the same power and voltage. So you just plug those in there. I'm going to plug the front panel control back in. Slide it back into place. This little board comes out probably 80% of the time when you're taking the front panels off of these monitors. So it's not a big thing. It's just going to slide back into place. You just need to make sure you have the buttons on the front of the unit and then the buttons on the board. You just want to make sure that you have them lined up so that when you push the button on the outside of the monitor that it pushes the button on the inside of the monitor. Same thing on this side. You have um, power button and the on-off signal indicator lights and when you plug it or push it back in you just want to make sure that when you push the button that it depresses the power switch and operates that properly. So I'm going to put our tape back on. We need to put our RF shield back on that covers those high voltage backlight plugs. All right. And now to test it out, we can do that if you're careful before you put the back of the back of the unit on. And there we are see on the screen we have checked signal cable light. That indicates that the monitor is, is working and powering up. It's just not connected to a video source at this time. So we can just go ahead and unplug the power cable. And this little shield wiggled a little bit. And we'll plug our back panel back on. and put our four screws back in and we'll have a fully repaired monitor. It only takes um, you know, just a few minutes to do the repair on them so it's quite worthwhile. These are good monitors. Uh, save it from the you know, filling up the landfills and so forth. Keep some money in your pocket. All right, and there we go, one fully repaired LG monitor.